Hello Flutter Enthusiasts! Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into an essential aspect of app development, date and time pickers in Flutter. Whether you're building a calendar app, a scheduling tool, or simply need to collect dates and times from users, mastering these widgets is crucial. So, let's get started. So here I've opened my project, and inside this project, my home page is getting called from my app. And inside this my home page we are having a app bar, and an empty column, and inside this column let's first set the main axis alignment as center, so that all our items get center aligned. Then, for opening a date picker in our app we need a button. So let's create an elevated button, and for its child, give it a text widget and set the string as select date. Then come on to this on pressed method of elevated button. So now here first add async, because selection of anything from a dialog is a future task, and we want to wait until user don't select anything. So that is why we need to add the async here. Now here inside this method, first add a wait, then in flutter to show a date picker dialog. There is a predefined method is available for that, so make use of show date picker method. And let me first correct the indentation for this. Now our this method has four required parameter. So first is context, which is already provided. Then we need to pass the initial date, so the initial date is used to open the calendar for that specific date. Like if you pass the initial date as 1st January of 2020, then. Our this calendar will open for that date. So this was the basic funda of initial date. So in our case, we want that calendar should open from the current date. So for that we need to use date time dot now function. This function always returns the current date time. Now afterwards we need to provide the first date, this parameter is used for, calendar's first date. So her I want that my calendar's first date should be 1st January of year 2000. So for that, here again make use of date time then inside these braces pass the year, in my case is 2000 so I'm passing that, you can pass the year as per you convince. And the same thing is going for last date, like what is going to be last date for your calendar. I want that my calendar should hold the date still, 2100. So I've passed that thing. Now after adding that, here add a semicolon. Now our this function will return a date time data, which we need to store. So let's assign this value to a date time variable, and make sure that your this new date time variable is going to be nullable. You may ask, what is the need of making it nullable? We are making this variable nullable because, let's assume a user opened the calendar and he never selected the date, and then closed the dialog. In that scenario our this selected date variable have no data. So this is the main reason of making it nullable. After that let's just print the selected date, and now save the code and hit the run button. And here I don't know why this dialog is opened, because the app is successfully installed on this simulator. Just left it apart that's the discussion for some other day. So here now tap onto this select date button, and there we go, our this date selection dialog is opened up and from here let's select the date as 13 and then press on this OK button. And you can see, we have our selected date get printed in the console. I know it's not looking very cool but our first agenda it completed. Now let's format this date. So for formatting the date we need to add this intl dependency in our pubspec.yaml file. So please add this dependency, then press on this pub get option. Now come again on the main.dart file, and after this print statement here add a if condition, and then inside it write the condition if the selected date is not null, then come inside this condition and here create a new string variable as formatted date. Now here we are going to make use of our newly added package, 
So here add date format class of intl package, and then inside it we need to add the format, in which our date should be displayed. So here in my case I want that my selected date should be look like this. So for creating this kind of format, I need to pass this. Here our double D represent the selected date in two digit, then two capital M for selected month in two digit, and then four Ys for the selected year. Then after adding the format, we need to pass what we need to format, so here write format and then our selected date. So this line of code will format our date. Now let's show this date on the mobile screen, so for doing that, come up above here, and create a new string variable, as selected date and then assign its value with the empty string. And now in this condition, remove the string variable and here add our selected date variable. And then add here set state so that whenever a new value will come then, our UI will get notified. And wait here we have two variable with the same name, so let's change our this variable name from selected date to selected date string, and yeah it is fixed. Now come up above here and here at the sized box which will have a height of 40. Because we want that our text widget and our elevated button have some space between them. So now, Add a text widget and then add selected date string here, and then add a style for it. Let's increase the font size to the 30. Yeah it's done now let's just save the code and here tap on the selected button and our calendar will open, then here I'm selecting the date 14th and now press on this OK button, and as you can see we have got our date, but I guess we have some issue here, because our year not coming in proper format. Oh, I got the issue. We are facing this issue because here we need to use small y's. Sorry for that. Let's add small y, now save the code again and tap on the select date button, and tap on to March 13th and yeah you can see we have get the March 13th 2024 in our required format. And let's assume one more case where you want that your months should be spell and spelling, so if you want that behavior then you can add one more m here so that it will format into that. So now save the code again and from here select date 13 and as you can see, now we have this kind of format. So you can play around with this format thing. Now this our date part is done. Now let's do the same thing for our time picker section. So here create a new variable as selected time string, and just copy your code from text to the elevated button and paste it below and here above your text. Widget at the sized box and change the string from selected date string to selected time string and now from here remove the all unpressed code. Now come into this unpressed method, and here add a wait then here make use of show time picker. This will help us to open the time picking thing. So here the context is already given and now we need to add the initial time so you know, how to add the initial time. So for adding the initial time you just need to pass time of the day. Now so what this line of code will do, you may ask. So in this line of code, first thing is that time of day so the current time of the day, and then select this time from this day. So for passing the current date we need to use date time dot now. So yeah this was it, now this dialog will return us the time of day. So here make use of time of day variable and then assign it with to the selected time thing. And here we have a error and what's there, oh yeah, the nullable thing which I have mentioned above. And now let's print the selected time. Now just save the code and run this code. And also change the label of your text widget and here tap onto the select time option, and here let's select any time which you want. And I don't know why these empty boxes are coming, left this thing as of now and select any time and press on this OK button and now check onto the console and yeah, we got our selected time. Now let's change it again to test it for the morning session, and I have selected 8.10. Yeah it's fine now so now we also want to show this time on our screen so here just add the if condition for checking that selected time is not null then add set state then assign the selected time to our selected time string variable. 
So for that first extract the hour thing from the selected time, then the minute thing then, add the two string parameter to both of the side, and it's giving us the warning, oh, we can use string interpolation so add that thing here. And now just run the code again and select any time from here and tap onto OK button, and we got our time. Isn't it very cool? So if you like this video then, please give us a thumbs up. We need it very hard. And subscribe to the channel. 92% of my viewers are not subscribed. So don't do this. Please subscribe to us.